Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In this session, we will see the overview of procure to pay business process lifecycle. So procure to pay cycle is also known as P2P cycle and you can say that uh, purchase to pay and procure to pay process originate in the procurement business area. And it is an integral and essential part of the payables business function as well. And starting from the collecting the requisitions from the inventory department and into the purchase order to the final payment against the goods and services, both the procurement team member as well as accounts payables team members have a keen interest in ensuring that every process is well optimized for the cost saving and improving the efficiency of the goods. Now the procure to pay phases. So there is so many phases of this procure to pay processes. So procure to pay processes is an integral financial process within the organization, which helps the enterprise to record the demands made by the uh, employees and the records made and the record the demand that is auto generated from the supply chain application and uh, procure against against this demand from the supplier supplier uh, supplier the goods and services to their uh, our organization and book the liabilities by the recording the invoices invoices comes into the uh, paper re receivable departments and apply and uh, withholds the requisite taxes on these good, goods and services and make the payment against these invoices. So this is the phases. And so basically the procure to pay it refers to an automated system that integrates procurement with the accounts payables in order to streamline the processes, ensure the accuracy and create the efficiencies in the cost and time. So this is the departments of the P2P cycle. So the process to pay the, the procure to pay process is how an organization to procure the goods and services to need to do the business in our organizations. And procure to pay is the process of requisitioning and purchasing, receiving and paying for accounting for the goods and services, covering the entire process from the point of ordering the right to the payment. So we have some steps. So step by steps, we cover these P2P cycles. So in the first step, the so first step of procure to pay process is to determine the determine and define the business requirement. So first we identified the needs for the product and services within our organization. So the first step is identify the needs, identify those goods and services which are shortest in our organization, in our inventory department. So in our next step, we create the, create the purchase requisition PR is called PR. So after finalizing the needs of goods and services, a purchase requisition is created. So a requester, those who is created this requisition. So a requester submit this, filled out this purchase requisition form. And after, after this, ensuring that, that all the necessary administrative requirements are met. So requisitions are created, but this have to approve. This requisition have to approve by the consent department. So our so we uh, our next step is purchase requisition approvals. So after submitting the purchase requisition and uh, submitted purchase requisitions are then viewed by the department's head and procurement officer. So approvals can either be approved or reject a purchase requisition after evaluating the needs and verifying the budgets. So budgets are available or not and validating the purchase requisition form. So, so purchase requisitions show that the, the product and the services are shorted or not. So the purchase requisition approval must be on this step.
so our our next step is supplier the company prepare a list of supplier that that they have thing that they provide the materials and goods to our organizations on the time only so this department the purchase departments uh, asked the each of the supplier to submit a quotation which include the price which include the terms of delivery the quality of goods and any other information that needs for making the decision so this step also also evolved and uh, it was this negotiation point of view so we can negotiate to the supplier for the best deal so uh, our next step is to create the purchase order so once the supplier has been chosen a uh, purchase order is created and approved by the concerned department like purchasing department approve this this purchase order and now purchase order is sent to the supplier to supply the goods and services along with the instructions as to the conditions under which they have to do a supply now our next step a good receipt so once the company receive the goods from the supplier the purchasing department this purchasing department the purchasing department prepare a good receipt note so this good receipt note is a important document that can be later be used for reconciling the goods and all that so good receipt note is compare with the purchase order to validate if two way matching three way matching we will see in our upcoming sessions how the two way matching completed and how the three way matching four way matching so this is all the setups in covered in inventory department so if there are any discrepancy the buyer can contact to the supplier and post the complaint and checks are made if the goods are su suitable if goods are suitable for us or not used for not if the correct correct quantity and quality has been delivered deliver or not if the goods met order specifications and they are they are priced according to the terms of the purchase order if the goods are damaged then buyers will be will have to contact to the supplier and ask either the replacement or the refund in this case the purchase department the purchase department purchase return is created so this is all over in the purchase department and once the verification of the goods is done the payment invoice is created and the necessary approval from the project managers are be done so this is all in the payables departments how the how the invoices are approved or not if the if the price is high or not so all the all the approvals department or are done in the payables department so once the approved invoice are passed to the accounts payables departments who make the payment and update the systems so all the assets related information goes to the asset department and the payments related informations like bank details and so bank accounts numbers are uh, fetched from the cash department and in the other side we 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 send the information to the payment cash departments all the cash related information and all the information like uh, cash department information like uh, banks details bank account details reconciliation details and the asset detail from the asset details from the asset department goes into the common departments this common department is nothing but a general ledger so when the company makes the final payment to the supplier the cycle comes to close this cycle start from the requisitions then comes to the purchase order and then payment and last the payment done to to the supplier the cycle comes to close so this is all about the p2p cycle and uh, we have some departments we have some applications so application in supply chain management p2p cycle we have a oracle fusion 
inventory application we have a purchasing applications we have a oracle fusion cache department and uh, asset department so in in the inventory in inventory application we def we we created the purchase requisition and the approvals so all the approvals related to purchase requisition are done in the inventory department and our purchasing uh, purchasing applications the request the request for the quotation the re receiving the quotation and the quotation analyzing chosen the best quotation and place for the purchase order and good seed note and the uh, the purchasing purchase return the all the tasks performed in the purchasing application now in the accounts payable so all the purchasing invoices and the payments are done in the accounts payables and the related information goes to the cash department cash management as well as in the asset applications so fixed assets and deprecations are done in the fixed assets and the bank's accounts details and bank statement reconciliations are done in the cash application in the cash management and all the information goes the final the financial reports are done in the general ledger so this is all the applications are interlink in our application which is supply chain management so this is all about the p2p cycle that is a procure to pay so in our next session we cover o2c cycle so thanks for watching this video thank you so much